Hello and welcome to DevWave Diaries. If you're ready to level up your web design skills, you've come to the perfect place. In today's video, I'll show you how to create e-commerce product zoom effect to create visually stunning, interactive designs in your e-commerce website. Let's get into it. Let's start by creating a div with the class name container. Inside this, we'll add another div with the class name image zoom. Within this image zoom div, include an image tag, and you can use any product image of your choice. After that, let's create a CSS variable in the image zoom tag. Write style equals then add URL, URL. Then, copy the previous image link and paste it inside the parentheses. Here, URL is the CSS variable, and its value is set using the URL function, where we add the same image link as before. Similarly, let's create two more CSS variables, X with a value of 0% and Y with a value of 0%. We will use the X and Y CSS variables to create the zoom animation. Now, copy the image zoom div two more times. You can use Alt plus Shift plus down arrow for quick duplication. Then, update the SRC attribute in the image tag with different product image links for variety. Similarly, update the URL CSS variable in the style attribute for each image zoom div to match the new image links. This ensures that each container has a unique image for the zoom animation. As you can see, I've used three phone images and updated all the image tags SRC attribute, as well as the CSS URL variable, to reflect the new image links for each image zoom div. This is all the HTML code we needed. Now, let's move on to the CSS. First, let's create a CSS boilerplate. Set the margin to zero and padding to zero, to remove any default space around or inside the elements. Then set the box sizing to border box. This property makes sure that the width and height of the elements include padding and borders. Next, let's style the HTML and body elements. Set the width to 100% and the height to 100%. This ensures that both the HTML and body elements will take up the full width and height of the viewport. Now, let's add styles to the container div. Set its width to 100% and height to 100VH, which makes it take up the full viewport height. Use display, Flex to enable Flexbox layout, and then center the content horizontally with justify content, center and vertically with align items, center. Finally, set gap, for our EM to add space between the elements inside the container. Open the browser, and you'll see three images displayed side by side, this is due to the Flexbox layout applied to the container div. Next, let's style the image zoom div. Set its width to 20 REM and height to 25 REM to define the size of each image container. Add 1 REM of padding to give some space inside the container. Then, apply a 2 pixel solid black border around the div and give it a 10 pixel border radius for rounded corners. Set overflow, hidden to make sure that any part of the image that goes beyond the container is not visible. Finally, change the cursor to zoom in, so when users hover over the image, it indicates they can zoom in on it. Open the browser, and you'll see the three image zoom divs, each containing an image. They will be sized according to the 20 REM by 25 REM dimensions, with a border. Now, let's style the image tag inside the image zoom div. Set its width and height to 100% so that it takes up the full size of the container. Use object fit. Contain to ensure the image scales properly without being distorted, and object position, 0, 0 to align the image to the top left corner of the container. Next, let's create an after pseudo element for the image zoom div. Set its content to an empty string, then position it at the top left corner using left, 0 and top, 0. Set the width and height to 100% so it covers the entire div. Finally, use background image, var, url, to apply the image stored in the url css variable that we created earlier. Here, var, url, will give us the value of the url css variable that we created earlier. This means that the background image for each after pseudo element will be different, 
for each image zoom div. Open the browser, and you'll notice that nothing has changed yet. This is because, by default, pseudo elements like after have no display behavior. To make it visible, we need to set its display property to block. Next, comment out the overflow, hidden line from the image zoom div. This will allow us to see the after pseudo element properly, including any part of it that extends beyond the boundaries of the image zoom div. Now, let's add background size, 150% to the after pseudo element. This enlarges the background image to 150% of its original size, which will create the zoom effect later. Then, set background position, 0% 0% to align the background image to the top left corner initially. Open the browser and inspect the page. Select the image zoom div and then select its after pseudo element. In the CSS panel, locate the background position, 0% 0% line and click on it. Use the up arrow key to increase both values. As you do this, you'll see the image inside the after pseudo element moving within its container. This movement changes the visible area of the enlarged image, and we're going to use this concept to create a dynamic zoom effect when the user hovers over the image. Next, change the value of background position to var, x, var, y. These are the two CSS variables we created earlier. Using them we can change this background position dynamically. Now, let's add styles to the after pseudo element for when the image zoom div is hovered. Set its display to block so that the pseudo element becomes visible during hover. Also, change the previous display property of the after pseudo element to none, ensuring it's hidden when the image zoom div is not being hovered over. This will make the zoom effect appear only when the user interacts with the image zoom div. Next, add position, absolute to the after pseudo element. This ensures that the pseudo element is positioned relative to its nearest positioned ancestor. To make this work, add position relative to the image zoom div. This setup ensures that the after pseudo element stays confined within the boundaries of its respective image zoom div. Now, uncomment the overflow hidden line in the image zoom div. This will hide any part of the after pseudo element that extends outside the boundaries of the image zoom div, keeping the layout clean and focused on the zoom effect within the container. This is all the CSS code we need. Now, let's move on to the JavaScript code. First, create a variable named image zoom and set its value using document.querySelectorAll. Inside the parentheses, write zoom. This will select all elements with the class name image zoom and store them in the variable for further manipulation. Now, write image zoom dot for each to loop through all the selected image zoom elements. Inside the for each method, create a function with the parameter item, which represents each individual image zoom element in the loop. Then, write item dot add event listener inside the loop. Inside the add event listener, use mouse move as the event type and create a function with the parameter e, which will represent the event object for the mouse move event. This will allow you to track the mouse movement over each image zoom element. Next, create a variable named x and set its value to e.offset x into 100. By item.offset width. This calculates the horizontal position of the mouse relative to the image zoom element, expressed as a percentage of the element's width. Now, copy the line you just wrote and change x to y, offset x to offset y, and offset width to offset height. This will calculate the vertical position of the mouse relative to the image zoom element, expressed as a percentage of the element's height. Next, write item.style.set property. Inside it, use x as the property name and x plus percent as the value. This will update the xcss variable dynamically, using the calculated x value in percentage form. Now, copy the line you just wrote and change all the x to y. This will update the yCSS variable dynamically, using the calculated y value in percentage form, allowing the zoom effect to adjust based on the mouse's vertical movement. Now, open the browser and hover over any image. You will see the e-commerce product zoom animation in action. The background image will zoom in and move according to the mouse's position, creating an interactive zoom effect on the product images. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content.
Your support helps us create more exciting and valuable videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.